So just a little brief history lesson. What we're actually going to be working on in this class is we're going to be working on Java FX. But as you can see, sort of this kind of uh, image here is showing more of a timeline. And the way we can think about it is once upon a time when Java was really starting to get uh, fleshed out with GUIs, uh, they introduced the AWT uh, graphics kind of library. Now, the problem with it was it was platform specific. What that means is basically, uh, you know, Java runs anywhere. But if I said, oh, I want to use a checkbox uh, and then run this in Windows, well, guess what? It's going to look like a Windows checkbox versus if I go to a Macintosh, it was looking like a Macintosh checkbox. Now, you're probably saying, okay, that makes no sense. But from a design standpoint, well, it looks different on two different products. It might look bad on another product. And two, if you're a company looking to kind of establish your brand, you don't want someone changing your brand on the fly. So what they did is they started to uh, flesh out this by introducing something called Swing. Now Swing has kind of been the uh, de facto uh, for the longest time, uh, you know, Back in my day, again, that's why it's there. Back in my day, I learned AWT. Uh, Swing was the new kid on the block, and well, that's what it was. It was uh, the new kid on the block. We weren't taught it. You had to go on the internet back in the day when you had AOL search, no Google, uh, and we had to pretty much look it up uh, and see kind of where that was coming from. Now, again, Swing's been around for a long time. The problem with Swing, however, is it really only works best for desktop applications. And guess what? We all have one of these things now that we all stare at when we're kind of going to bed at night, and, well, it works a little differently. Same kind of thing our web pages. We go to so many web pages. I want you to take a second, pause the video, and literally list off uh, 20 different programs that you use on a regular basis on your computer. Go. Okay, now take that same kind of pause and name 20 different websites that you use on a regular basis. You know, Pandora, Spotify, GrooveShark, Songza, Reddit, Dig, uh, Y Combinator, Google, Facebook, MySpace, that, I didn't even have to bother trying with that one. Well, that's the case, is now, you know, we've got this web development side of things, so we, we probably need to kind of work with that. And so that's actually, again, what we are going to be dealing with. We're going to be dealing with Java X. It's sort of the successor to uh, Swing. Now, that little quote there, Swing is essentially dead. What that means is Swing is no longer being developed. If there's any bugs in Swing, well, that sucks because we're now using JavaFX. Uh, it's you know just like uh, the old timey Microsoft uh, Office when it went from 2000 to 2003. We're using DocX now, but I still use Doc files. Suck it. That's pretty much how it works. That's uh, you know it's not a bad thing. It's just we have to kind of upgrade and move on. So now we're dealing with JavaFX, which allows me to work off the desktop websites and mobile friendly devices. If you've maybe danced around a little bit with some Android uh, work, you might have seen some of the things because again, JavaFX allows me to kind of do the same things in Android. 